we had even ourselves at one key. So we had multiple students who were refused the first time, went obviously with a different strategy, made some differences, talked about it. If they got a 214B, we actually said, and I don't know if, you know, you can again, correct me if I'm wrong. We actually prepared saying that, hey, go to the interview with the strategy. This is why I was denied. I, if you allow me, please let me explain why, you know, I actually have ties and it's, at least I could show you, I could tell you, I could present myself. So, you know, that, you know, historically worked obviously, and it's been good. Now, on the other hand, we had students who had, you know, qualified obviously 100% academically background, everything financial is great. Even with, you know, full fund, partial funds, they were refused, right? We had the first time we had students who have their mom and sister and brother were U.S. citizens here and applied and they were obviously at the first attempt they were approved right so it's really to your point it's really the presentation it's preparation it's how you present yourself how you actually take advantage of the strengths that you have maybe your weaknesses obviously talk about them and to kind of make a strategy an overall strategy to present yourself to the officer as to why Am I doing this? Why this is going to help me when I'm you know, done with my education, my plans are this, and this is going to help me and why this is going to help me to achieve my goals, which is right now it's not in the US because my intention is not to stay in the US. Right, yeah, absolutely. I agree with everything you just said. No need to correct you there, Ashka. I think every single day there are, there are cases where there are people who've been refused to overcome that previous refusal. And absolutely positively, it's not just a matter of rolling the dice again and hoping you get a, a better officer this time. Yes. That is not the way to do it. You, what you wanna do is, look, these people are gonna be students. They're gonna go into a class. Let's say they're students who got terrific grades. At a certain point in their academic career, they're gonna have a class, or maybe it'll be in graduate school, where they study hard and they get clobbered. They like struggle. Yes. All right. Yeah. What's the options that they have? They can prepare more. They can maybe, you know, talk to some a tutor, talk to the professor, work on, talk to, you know, in this case, uh, you know, an expert in the field uh, with one key visa and do a better job the next time. OK, or they can quit. They can say, you know what, this is too hard for me. I, I just can't do this. It's it's really a, a shame. And then they give up on what is, you know, something where, look, there, no matter what, cor what uh, course of study you have, you're going to hit a course or a professor, okay, or just a time in your life where you're going to have a challenge that's really going to hit you hard and you, you're not sure you can overcome it. The, the people who are really going to get ahead and get the highest grades and get the best performance, uh, and that's a lot of your, your, your customers, are the ones who take that as a learning, you know, event and grow from it, grow from it. Uh, and, uh, you know, they go work a little bit harder, they prepare. And in this case, uh, getting one key visa involved is not like the, you know, it's, it's, they will guide you through everything. And then, you know, I'll help as well. So it's not like you're on your own working you know, to do this. And so, at, you know, when you're struggling, here's a tip for everybody who's 18, 19, 20, 28, 36, anybody who's younger than me, which is most of the people <laughs> that you work with. If you're struggling, ask for help, yep. okay? This is, nobody's gonna judge you because you're struggling and you ask for help, ask for help. Yep. We're here to help. So ask for help if you're struggling. If you get a refusal, overcome it by asking for help. And that's, that's, what, that's what we're talking about now. That's why we're here.